happy holiday season. Yeah. So good to see you here. So good to have you participate in the second celebration, Christmas celebration today. Oh, yeah. We ready. I'm telling you. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where's Robin? Come here, Robin. Come on over here. All right. Robin's going to lead us in prayer this time. All right. Good morning, God. And good morning to Let's dear Mother, Father, and God. Take a deep breath and think of all the beautiful things you have to be thankful for on this wonderful Christmas morning. First and foremost, we're all able to walk in here or roll in here, take hands of someone next to you and stand and be thankful. We're so blessed just to have this community, these friends and these family to bring us together on this special day that's brought to you by God and the Spirits. And I like to think of a line from a Charlie Brown song that was on the Christmas special by Charlie Brown. The song was called Christmas Time is Here. And the last line of the song is, Christmas time is here, happiness and cheer. Oh, that we could always see this beauty through the year. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Right on. right on. Shalom. 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 Anaste. Anaste. Good morning. Good morning. It is now time for our community song. This is where we invite the whole congregation to sing with us and join in. We're going to do a medley of two songs. Number one, Mary had a baby. The second one is Amen. The words are on the wall. All right, everybody join in and help us out. Mary had a baby. Mary had a baby. Mary had a baby, yes, Lord. The people keep a coming and the train done gone. Who did he name him? What did she name him? What did she name him? Yes, Lord. The people keep a coming and the train done gone. He came to free us. He came to free us. He came to free us. Yes, Lord, the people keep on coming and the train comes on. Listen to the children. Yes, Lord. I said, listen to the children. Yes, my Lord. Listen to the children. Yes, Lord, the people keep on coming and the train comes on. Speaking about freedom. Yes, Lord. I said, speaking about freedom. Yes, my Lord. Speaking about freedom. Yes. Seaside, a teacher 
we are and give our sisters and brothers a Christmas embrace. Hug your sisters and your brothers in front of you, behind you, across the aisle from you. What we're going to do as soon as we can get this log jam uh, uncluttered, then we'll continue with the rest of the celebration. So right over here, we're going to get folks seated. Now, if you don't mind sitting here in the chancel right here on the steps, you can come down here too. I want to see if you still got a little child in you. Come on down in here. <laughs> uh -huh. Amen. And we got some over here for you, too. So if you, if you want to come on across, some of you can sit down. Here, here's a seat here. Okay. And uh, Sylvia's son is on his way out. His name is Noel. He's a Christmas boy. I tell you, a Christmas child. He's on his way. He, he came to be with us this morning, but he's leaving. I don't mind telling it. You have to sit down. You can't stand up over there. You have to come up here somewhere. John Turk and the Change Band. Yeah. Ronnie on drums, Glenn on bass guitar, Tim on lead guitar, Joel on trombone, Dave on trumpet, and Charlie on saxophone. Yeah. The incomparable Glide Ensemble this morning. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Don't you worry so much About the path you choose When you feel it's right He'll show you just what to do
Thank you, thank you.
morning. My name is Janice Marikitani. I'm the executive director of Glide. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, Ramadan, Kwanzaa, Feliz Navidad, Mid Mele Kalikamaka, Joyu Noel, Noel, Shinnen Omedetto. Happy Holidays! I just want to thank you on behalf of Glide for all of your support and contributions and help during these holiday, uh, during this holiday season and. Your volunteering has made such a difference. Your, contribu your contributions have made all the difference for so many people. I want to thank Steve Fox and AT&T for making the shopping spree for our children possible. We want to acknowledge the Wall of Hope Givers and The Gap for being partners in our food bag distribution. And for and the gap for putting up that tent to uh, keep people out of the rain in the parking lot. Thank you. And Nordstroms and so many of you individuals who helped us in our toy drive. Thank you. We were able to give out 6,000 toys to children. And I also want to acknowledge uh, one of our supporters, one of our big supporters, uh, the. Uh, Giants family is here, represented here today by Larry and Pam Bear. Larry and Pam Bear, stand up. San Francisco Giants. Thank all of you for your generosity. You know, I spoke um, the morning of the toy drive on um, Monday with a woman who had brought children over from Oakland and who had gathered children up from the homeless shelters. And they waited in line from 11 o'clock at night until 10 o'clock in the morning for those toys. It was quite, um, quite moving to me. And I do think that it does give the meaning of the season to us all, doesn't it? Amen. And speaking about giving, I always love to introduce this woman whose wisdom and leadership and tireless giving has helped Glide grow and helped us in our fiscal judiciousness, our chair of the board, Amy Eric. Weren't they great this morning? Let's give a round of applause to the Glide Ensemble. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you. Um, so, a Jewish girl from New York wearing red today. I think that's impressive. Claire told me to put it on. So, what do I know about Christmas? Well, here's everything. Thank you. Here, ushers, get ready at the back. Um, here's, here's what I know. As a very objective, I think objective person, because I didn't really grow up with this holiday, um, I have this feeling every year that um, Christmas is this amazing experience. It's over in five minutes. Did you ever notice that? It's just this big build up and then it's over in about five minutes. But the more important part of that is that it's really about the giving and not the receiving. And what I see every year is people really getting in touch with their own humanity about giving to other people. I'd like to draw an analogy of that to what Glide does every day. That it is not about what Glide really receives in terms of the people that work here. It's what Glide gives out every day to people, to the kids that don't have toys, to folks that don't have food. Um, to folks who didn't have any place to live before uh, Glide built the Cecil Williams house next door, to kids that have no place to go after school. These are the real things that Glide does 24-7, 365 days a year. And I have to say that it's the proudest thing I know that I do in my life. Um, put all the business stuff aside, the proudest thing that I do with my time is to spend time really helping an organization who, where the rubber meets the road, this is the place in San, San Francisco would not be the same without Glide. It wouldn't be the place that it is. So 
So ushers, can you please start, um, start from the back? And uh, what I'd like to, um, to say to you today is that Claire and I and Madison are going to make a $10,000 donation today. Um, and we're going to make it um, because it's, I feel like it's the right thing to do. The right thing to do. It's not comfortable. It's not as if we just have that money sitting over there on the side <laughs> just waiting. It's because I believe it's the right thing to do at this time of year to really stretch yourself because it really is about giving back. And if we don't take care of each other in life, you don't have anything but love. You have nothing. So I'm going to urge you this morning to give as generously as you can. We need it. Uh, it's been a very hard year. Uh, it's been a difficult time in terms of money. It's been a difficult time in terms of just meeting the needs. We ran out of food uh, this week. For those of you that watch the news, we didn't have enough food and we were able to just give turkeys to folks after all of the other stuff was gone in the bags. Uh, we gave out all the toys um, and people, there were longer lines and, and the lines were pretty significant um, with people from the street and also what I would call sort of working poor, people that have jobs that um, may not have the resources for Christmas or the resources for food. So I want to ask you, please, to give as generously as you can, um, and the money will go to all the programs and to good use. So thank you. Um, one other thing that I'd like to say is, um, you know, Jan mentioned the volunteers and all of the folks that have really pitched in. I just want to acknowledge the staff of Glide. Uh, these people really work around the clock this time of year. You know, if you're here at 5 o'clock in the morning, they're staffed, and at 11 o'clock at night, they're here. Uh, so I want to say to Cecil and Jan and Douglas and all of your staff that supports you, again, the world is a much better place because of Glide Memorial. So thank you, and have a great day today, okay? Merry Christmas. Thank you, Amy, Eric. Thank you, Amy and Claire and Madison for your generous, generous contribution. Thank you. You will make many, many people happy. We're going to hear one uh, from the Glide Ensemble. Can I not talk today? What is my problem? <laughs> Choked up. That's what it is. We're going to hear from the Glide Ensemble one more number, and then after they sing... We are privileged to hear from both of our preachers this morning. First, we'll hear from Pastor Fitch, our pastor, who lifts us up, brings us the joy of the challenge of the word, and I, who I think is one of the finest preachers in America. Pastor Fitch. And then we will hear from the man who started it all 40 years ago, opened the doors of this church to all of us who are homeless, all of us who are seeking birth and recovery and renewal and unconditional acceptance, and who married, had the really good foresight to marry me 22 years ago. <laughs> Glad Ensemble. Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, Lord. 
coming home. morning with your presence on this very special day for so many. I know it's going to be busy for you, but thank you for taking out time. Let us pray. Oh God, on this Christmas morning, give us the energy and the strength to continue to walk in peace and in love. Amen. Amen. And amen. We know the old story. It's been told over and over again about Mary and Joseph and the babe who was born so many years ago. The chaos and confusion that reigned because there was no room for them in the end. Well, that just reminds us this morning that uh, there is always enough room for chaos in our lives, huh? Huh? Always enough time and room for chaos. It is a fact that in every day's experience, there is much that makes for confusion and bewilderment. Frankly speaking, often we do not understand how our relations with other people become so frayed and chaotic. Hmm? Granted, sometimes the chaos proves to be a positive thing. Amen. Hmm? That is, something beautiful, something new, something creative and whole begins to pull together the fragments of that relationship with that person or those persons in a miraculously unexpected fashion. Hmm? It delights our spirits and it makes our hearts glad. 
that's sometimes. Yeah. But other times, the chaos is negative. A sign of the generation where once there was meaning and something full and good in our relationships, it's diminished and gone. Well. And it seems that there's always room for chaos. Hmm? So on that special night many, many years ago that we call Christmas, more chaos broke out on the hillside, this time where shepherds were watching their flocks. In Luke's Gospel, chapter 2, these words are recorded. Suddenly an angel of the Lord stood by their side. The splendor of the Lord blazed around them, and they were terror-stricken. But the angel said, don't be afraid. Fear not, for I bring glorious news of great joy. For unto you is born this day Christ, Messiah, the anointed one of God. And in a flash there appeared with the angel a vast host of the armies of heaven. I guess cherubs and cherubim and all the rest of them. Amen, huh? Uh, trying to get in on the action, huh? Glory to God in the highest. And peace, peace, peace to those men and women with whom God is well pleased. Well, there is always room for chaos. But like the shepherds, the word for us this morning is don't be afraid. Don't be afraid for our world needs to make room in our hearts for some peace. We need some peace this morning. Amen. That's what this Christmas is all about. We need some peace. For in peace, sons and daughters bury their mothers and fathers. But in war, mothers and fathers bury their sons and daughters. And if we have no peace, maybe it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. We belong to each other. I'm not your enemy and I don't see you as my enemy. Amen. Life is God's gift to us. Peace is our gift to each other. Peace is our gift to each other. And when the choice is to be right or to be kind, always make the choice that brings peace. Amen. Huh? Let me just say it again. When the choice is to be right or to be kind, always make the choice that brings peace. Right. Even long ago, the angels understood that. That's why they sang, give peace a chance. Amen. <laughs> give peace a chance. Huh? Peace of mind that inspires singleness of purpose, that extends our circle of compassion to include all of God's children. Huh? Gay, straight, uh, bisexual, transgender, huh? Gay. Peace of mind that says my circle of compassion now includes you. You don't have to look like me, amen. Huh? You don't have to come from my side of town, amen. You can come from Marin, amen, and we're going to still love you, amen. Your compassion of friends all around. Give peace a chance. Give peace of chance, peace of heart that quiets all of our fears, that don't be afraid, and uproots all of our panic. Hmm? No more panic attacks for 2004. Amen. Hmm? Peace of heart. Give peace of chance, peace of spirit that filters through all confusions and robs them of their power. Don't give them any more power. Therefore, oh God, we on this Christmas day seek the enlargement of our hearts, of our minds, and of our spirits that they, in fact, may be able to make room for peace. Confucius said it much better than I. If there be righteousness in our hearts, there will be beauty in our character. If there be beauty in our character, there will be harmony in our homes. If there be harmony in our homes, there will be order in the nation. 
And if there be order in the nation, there will be peace in the world. Amen. Huh? Peace in the world. Give peace a chance. Overcome evil with good. Give peace a chance. Falsehood with truth. Give peace a chance. Overcome hatred with love. At this Christmas, make room and give peace a chance. Have a joyous Christmas. Amen. You know, I don't know whether you know it or not, but you're very fortunate. You're fortunate to have preachers who would agree to speak at the same time. <laughs> you hear me? I mean, you know, it just doesn't happen. No, 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 no. One's got to cut the other one, and the other one's got to cut the other one, you know. Always that kind of stuff. Listen, I was looking at television at 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> and, and you, you all know Ella, Ellen DeGeneres, do you not? Well, she was on doing a humorous thing. And at one point, to describe how she came out, she began to go down and finally reach a fetus position. And I said, Lord, that's what I've been preaching about. I've been saying that you have to get pregnant if you're going to be born. And that pregnancy should, sh all of us should be pregnant in one way or the other, even the men. It's time for us to know that we need to be pregnant with ideas right. and with love. Right. And we need to be pregnant with knowledge. And we need to be pregnant as we relate to our sisters and our women and our mothers and all of the people. We need to be pregnant. That's what we need. Now, I see more women applauding out there than men. Because the men still trying to catch up like, oh, Lord, what, oh, God, what is he throwing at us this time? I just want you to have birth. That's what I want. It's birthing time. It's time for people to face up to the fact that not only the child is here, but the people have come together. And on this Christmas day, it's time for us to know that Jesus, who brings us love, like love came down at Christmas, Jesus who brings us love, also Jesus brings us freedom. And we have to deal with the fact that we have freedom. You may not know it, but you need freedom like everybody else. You need the freedom to make a choice about the things that you're afraid to make a choice about. You need the freedom to be able to reach out to people that frighten you. You're afraid of people because uh, they're not like us. And so what do we do? We hesitate. We, we talk about who is that or where they come from. Uh, will they get us down or will they do us in? Yeah. Yeah, they're going to do us in. But we can do them in, can't we? No, we can't. What we've got to do is know that when you give love, things are going to hurt you sometimes. And you got to go with the flow, even though it hurts sometimes. I'm convinced that one reason Jesus came was to engage in an exodus. An exodus. What is an exodus? It means that people become those who are ready to move from where they are to a new place, a new land, a new community, a new people, a new understanding, a new relationship. 
It's time for us to go on an exodus. I don't know who's going to lead us, but it's time for us to go on an exodus. Okay? Moses came and, and Abraham came and Jeremiah came and Jesus came and, and now this is Jesus' day, which says to us, get up off your and get to go. <laughs> the question is, are we ever ready? You know, we're never ready. We can talk about that stuff. We can say how good it is. Oh, we used to be like this, but now we're like this. And the thises don't relate to the this. Did you catch that? <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you did because I didn't. I just said it. No, really. I got it. 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 Now, my brothers and my sisters, what I want you to realize is that this is the day that the Lord has come. Let us rejoice and be glad. For it is a day of rejoicing. It is a day of being lifted up. It is a day to put down all that old stuff and bring in the new stuff. It is a time to declare and affirm yourself. Don't you know that if you tell the truth, what will it do? It will set you free. So we must be set free. That's why Jesus comes to set us free. Don't have to lie no more. Don't have to try to do everything in the dark. It's time to come out and let the light shine. Get a sun tan. That's what it's time to do. <laughs> Work on your tan. My, <laughs> my brothers and my sisters, this is the day that love comes and that we are free. Jesus frees us. That being the case, then what do we do? What do we do about it? Well, I'm going to tell you what I do. I'm going to go over here and get my bag. It's right here. You see it? My luggage, my bag. That's, that's, that's the thing I carry around with me all the time. And, and, and the baggage is heavy. So I take my heavy bag every place I go. And today I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take something out of that bag so it won't be so heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm a, you watch and see. Because I want you to know that you can take something out of your bag also. I don't know how long you've been carrying your bag, but some of us have been carrying bags a long time. And, and it's time. It's, yeah, I'm going to fix it. It's time. It's time to get those bags emptied a little bit. So you won't have to go around talking about, do I do it or do I not do it? Or should I not? What am I doing? Where am I? Who am I? What's going on in my life? Well, don't you know what's going on in your life? There's chaos in your life. <laughs> my brothers and sisters here, we're going to go to the bag. And I'm going to unzip it. I've been wanting to get in this bag a long time. So I'm going to go first, reach my hand down in the bag, and I'm going to bring up something. And it says, selfish. Oh I'm carrying a flag that says, people are selfish. And you are too, Cecil Williams. Right. A selfish flag. Now, what am I going to do with that flag? <laughs> if I'm going to get rid of it, what am I going to do? Anybody want my flag? No. You mean to tell me you don't want my selfish flag? It's what? We have our own. We have our own. That's a <laughs> Are you preaching my sermon twice today? I... Okay, here's my selfish flag. I, since you got your own, and I got mine, and I said I was going to get rid of mine, I can't. <laughs> we'll put it back in the bag. <laughs> wait, wait, let me finish. I got several others. Goodness. <laughs> Reach in my bag, pull something out. Oh, it says that I like to dominate. <laughs> Do you like to dominate? Oh, well, come on. You, you said, yeah, come on, let me give you this flag. 
take it home with you. Come on. You de- see, you can't do it. You, can't, you know why? Because freedom is free. But the way to stop freedom is to become anxious about what's in your bag. And so we have anxieties about what we take out and what we put in. And since I've got an anxiety about it, I'm going to put it back in the bag. (laughs) Got one more. One more. This is the big one. Ooh, I'd have to use two hands for this one. (laughs) It says, you like to always be the leader. Anybody want this bag? At 9 o'clock, somebody said yes. Now, can I get somebody to say yes at, nine, at 11 o'clock? You like to be the leader. You like to be the one who controls the situation. You are the control freak. What are you going to do about it? You really need to leave this. I'm on, what can I do with this? About, throw it away. Throw it away. Burn it up. Throw it away. Tear off the little tiny piece. I'm going to put this back in the bag. I'm going to zip up my bag. Because you see, you see, you see, that's what Christmas is all about. It's about being free. Free to make the choice but also free to have the anxiety so when you open up the luggage, your bag, you can throw it away and know that from then on that you can work with it and make it count. Christmas is about making it count. Christmas is about being free. Here, here the child comes and here the grown-up comes and Jesus dies still trying to help us understand what it means to be free. Amen. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a round of applause for Reverend Cecil Williams and Reverend Douglas Finch. Now, if everybody would stand, please. I have an exam. Douglas and I really have friends here. One is, this is Belvy Rooks, who is an activist, very much an activist in the, in the community. Hi. Right. Very good to see you. My name is Greg. Greg. And you are too far. This is, this is such a, this is Mrs. Shakur's son-in-law, but the most, the person that she sent. Yeah. What shall I just say? Yeah, why don't you do that for me? Get, let, wait, let's get a microphone. Give me a microphone. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Just, uh, I wish you could see yourselves. You are so beautiful. You are my gift. Thank you so much. I had called Jan and and, and Cecil earlier this week when I realized that Afeni Shakur was going to be in town and she had really wanted to come and help serve food today. So I had called and said, you know, everybody was really excited. 
We've all been seeing the film, and we all love her, and we all love Tupac. All right. And, so, but, you know, she was under, she's under the, we the weather. But the most important thing is she sent two of the most important people in her life. Her son-in-law, Greg Jackson, who just is here from, <laughs> is here from Atlanta. And she sent her heart, her other heart, her only and youngest grandson, her only grandson, Malik Shakur. And And I know that you all know that Malik, uh, uh, people here have ways of knowing things, because Malik is really talented on the drums, and we, were, we knew that y'all also knew, he's not going to sing, but his favorite song, we were hoping that he had a favorite song, so when he, hopefully he'll sing with the choir. What's the name of the movie that's out with Tupac? Uh, they all know the name. The name? The Re Pac Resurrection. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's fabulous, it's wonderful, it's the reason why you all, in life and in death, love this brother. And it, so, so that's the name of the movie. And uh, so, but as you know, she's been traveling all over for premieres and she came out here to kind of rest and you know how things are catching up with you. So she was under the weather, but she, having made the commitment, she would not not show up. Okay. okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And now my brothers and sisters, Go in peace. All we need to do is reach peace and loving and also compassion. It's ours to do. What more can we say except amen? Come on, let's sing now. Amen. 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 